What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be going through the best budget squad that you can get as of today in Season 9. This is a an end game, I guess you could say, a budget squad that you can get for less than 70,000 MT. Now, that sounds like a lot of MT, but when you think about it, this is a full 10-man lineup for under 70k. We're going to jump straight into it, though. There is two free cards on this list, and I didn't go fully extreme. So, obviously, you can get a, a free... Uh, you can get your Damian Lillard, Jimmy Butler, James Worthy and then Bill Russell but these are cards that you can get within pretty much if you have the MT within an hour of the game you can get this full 10 might ban lineup go online and you can actually compete if you are an average player you can actually compete with this lineup there are some decent cards on here that some of them have just came out some of them are older that you can really really compete with so the first card we're going to start off with is going for around eight and a half thousand MT and that is the recent uh, Rudy Fernandez card that came out that is the point guard now the reason I chose this card is it's got curry base this is a very very quick curry release and uh, it's a very nice card to have look I mean it's the most people probably don't like seeing his face anymore with the amount of times that people pulled him out of packs recently but this Rudy Fernandez with a curry shot he's 6'6 he can move he's got 96 speed 95 speed with ball he can move around that court very very fast and he's a point guard that if you're if you're confident dribbling and if you're confident shooting off the dribble you can use him quite well and at the height he can defend quite well as well he's got a high perimeter defense and being a dark matter he's going to have a lot of badges as well so you can definitely uh, experiment with him see if you like him or not and he's going for only eight and a half thousand MT now the next card is completely free. Uh, now this challenge, some people do struggle with a little bit. Uh, this is one of the Tarka Spotlight challenges. Um, it is a card that, uh, look, some people might struggle with the challenge, but that is Dark Matter Cam Reddish. Um, now this card is is actually a top tier, I guess you could say small forward shooting guard. He's a top tier card in both of those positions across my team. No money spent, all money spent, no matter what. This card can do it all. At the shooting guard position, I, that's where I would play him personally. I prefer having a tall lineup, so I would play him at the shooting guard position over the small forward position. Dark Matter got a lot of badges, got a lot of attributes as well. Is a card I, actually I don't personally use, but for a budget lineup, you can get him within a 20 minute game. So that is one. That is 20 minutes of that one hour taken up playing that challenge. Um, once again, it is a more difficult challenge to do, but if you can get it down, Cam Reddish is your man. Then the next card is one, another one that people are sick of seeing, and that is Galaxy Opal Larry Bird. That is the uh, recent one that just came out very shortly ago. It is the out of this world Larry Bird. Now, for me personally, I don't like his jump shot. I've never liked Larry Bird's jump shot in game. However, for a budget card, he's only going for 6,000 MT at the moment, which is very, very cheap for a Galaxy Opal. Uh, you can pick him up out of this world set. There is a lot of cards in that Galaxy Opal, uh, in that out of this world set, that are quite cheap and useful in a budget sort of lineup. So this Larry Bird, very, very handy to have, is a card that you can experiment with at power forward if you wanted to. I personally would have him at small forward. He just, he, his play is better on the wing, uh, but he's definitely a card that I'd recommend for any budget lineup, once again, going at 6,000 MT. Now the next card is also free. It's another card that I have in my lineup. Um, I love this card. I've always loved it. I had his Opal, and that is the Dark Matter James White. Wiseman card. That is another Tarko Spotlight reward. It is a triple threat game, so roughly seven minutes to get him. Um, it is a probably. I'd say, personally, I got him first go. I got him a uh, 21-0 streak. Basically, you get this card. If you're not aware, you have to win by 20 points in a triple threat game against uh, Diamond Clay, Diamond Curry, Pink Diamond Curry, and Diamond Draymond Green. Um, you can't let them score twice, pretty much, and uh, you will receive your uh, Dark Matter James Wiseman. I would recommend this card for a lot of reasons. Uh, jump shot, he's got Curry base. Very, very nice. It's on very quick. He's seven foot one. He can defend really well. He gets a lot of good dunk animations, a lot of Showtime animations for you current gen players that like that Showtime boost. And his overall really good card. I currently run him at my starting center. You can put him at power forward here who he has put power forward secondary eligible. Uh, so I would recommend him at power forward. The next card is one of the more expensive ones. Um, this is this is one that came in the same set as Larry Bird and this is one that this is one that a lot of people have uh, have been using in their lineup and say some say it's the best card shared across next gen and current gen. And this is that Galaxy Opal Sean Bradley 7 foot 5 can curry slide and look I personally don't use him. I've currently got James White and um and Demonis Sabonis. Uh, sorry, uh, Avita Sabonis on my lineup. Um, and like I'm happy with those two at the moment. Sean Bradley for 10 and a half KMT. Look, if you're willing to put that into him, um, it's a six, it's a seven foot five courage sliding demigod pretty much. This card is amazing to use if you can courage slide and on the rebounding front as well. Seven foot five and seven foot one at the power forward and, and center positions that you're gonna get a lot of rebounds. Even if you're, you're Rudy and your Cam Reddish decide to miss once in a while, you can get those rebounds with those tall blokes. That in itself is 
is uh, worth around, I'd say around 24, 25,000 MT, just that starting five. So that's 5,000 average per those five cards. So that is honestly pretty good. You're thinking about, you're getting three Dark Matters and two Opals for an average of 5,000 MT. So on my, and in my personal opinion, that's a very, very good bang for your buck sort of thing. Now the next points guard, I'm doing this a 10 man lineup. I did say at the start, there's a 10 man lineup. So you don't have to worry about these final three cards. The backup point guard is one that was very popular. The actual, uh, actual player itself was very, very popular among my team players for quite a while. And that is uh, his upgraded version, his Tyrese Halliburton Splashstone card. This is a six foot, I'm, I'm from memory, six foot six, curry sliding, incredible fast jump shot, one of the best jump shots in the game, this Tyrese Halliburton. The diamond was used on budget squads, on money spent squads for yonks. It was, it was a fantastic card to use early around season six. And right now, if you can pick up this Tyrese Halliburton, he's going for around six and a half thousand MT as well. 6.7 is what I've got written down. It is a splash zone card. So look, a lot of them are a bit cheaper at the moment because a lot of people are going to look at that other, uh, uh, looking in that bowl bowl. So a lot of people are going to be putting these up on the market, seeing though they can't get Michael Porter Jr. So this is a great ch chance to get him for around six and a half thousand MT. Once again, this card is phenomenal to come off your bench. If you want to replace him with Rudy, you can switch these two around if you do wish. I just feel the defensive purposes, I did put Rudy on the starting line. Up. Now, the backup uh, shooting guard is a, is a card that, once again, is like Tyrese. It, a lot of people like to use his diamond card. And it was a card that I used when I first started in Season 6 or Season 5, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's one that I don't see a lot. There's obviously the shooting guard position. There's a lot of good cards that are coming out. But in terms of really cheap cards, um, I, I always muck up his name. But Yi Jilia, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. You guys know who I'm talking about. The 7, he's 610? 6'10", at the shooting guard position. One of the best jump shots in the game on a, on a big man I guess you could call him and if you haven't seen his uh, this was his diamond card you might recognize him this was his diamond card that a lot of people ran for a long time at power forward uh, throughout you know no money spent series and whatnot people would obviously love this uh, it was the idols um, VIP or the, uh, the uh, one of the idols cards that a lot of people like to run at power forward however now we have a shooting guard small forward version of him that is an absolute butter release I love him to death and he's going for only 6,000 MT as well um, so once again that is a fantastic a card. You can put him at the small forward if you want to. Obviously, he's 6'10". He can play either, but for a tall lineup like I like to run myself, I'll definitely recommend him at shooting guard. Now, the next one is a bit cheesy, and he can go in and out with this Yi. Um, would be... <laughs> One of the worst jump shots in the game for me personally, but in terms of defense, in terms of this early, like this late in the game, still able to compete on defense, is this seven foot seven minute bowl. This card, I love to play at shooting guard. Honestly, like you could you could switch these guys around. I'm not gonna lie. You can switch these two around. I personally, when I did this list, I had him at small forward, but you can have it, especially if you're running a zone, man. No one is passing to that top right corner, that right hash, if you've got minute bowl there. It is, it is a fantastic card to use. The reach that he has, I'm pretty sure it's a seven seven, um, arm span as well, wingspan, phenomenal card, um, and he's going only once again 6,000 MT, a lot of people are going to hate on this because, you know, terrible jump shot, there's uh, better free cards out there, these are cards that you can get within the first hour, you can log on, you can open up your, your beginner packs, you can sell the content that you get, You can. there's a lot of serious three cards that are going for a lot of money at the moment, and you can pick up these cards very, very easily, very, very straightforward, and then gradually work your way up as you go. Now, moving on, the power forward position was the only reason I had this card here at power forward, because I had this minute bowl and this is a card that I still use at the moment and it is the Isaiah, uh, the Jonathan Isaac uh, Galaxy Opal. Now this card's going for around 7,500 MT. He does have the Dark Matter version which is one that I'm hoping to upgrade to on my own lineup. So at the moment, you can already tell, Jonathan Isaac and James Wiseman are two cards that I have in my actual lineup. I am no money spent myself. I have bought like obviously with Rec VC, I have bought like one or two packs along the way. But at the end of the day, Jonathan Isaac can hold himself against some of the best cars in this game. His dunk packages are awesome. His jump shots are a bit crook. I don't know. I don't like it that much. But in terms of a corner shooting, if you can put the badges on him that you need to, he can be a very, very dominant card. Once again, if you don't like Manute, definitely chuck um, Jonathan Isaac at the small forward position and get another power forward. Completely up to you at the end of the day. But I do love Manute Bowl. I, I, I ran him for quite a while. Now, our final card here, I did save the, uh, the most expensive to last. 
Once again, it is a very, very cheap card that has come out. A very, very recent card, I should say, that has come out and is by far the most expensive, sitting at around 18,500 MT. And it is Dark Matter Symbolar. This card is it is pretty much a demigod. I like Whether it's current gen, next gen, it's the same with Sean Bradley, pretty much. These two cards play so well across both generations of the game and I definitely recommend. And he can play it powerful. If you want to muck around having having this sort of lineup, you have Sean Bradley off the bench, you could run Symbolar. Simbalar at the 4, James Wiseman at the 4 with Simbalar. There are so many options you can run, but Simbalar, for 18,500 MT, you can definitely work that back with this lineup. If you play limited for one weekend with this with these sort of cards, like if you say this weekend just gone, you have to have two Dark Matters and the rest Amethyst. If you run a James Wiseman with, say, a Rudy Fernandez at point guard, your curry sliding back and forth, doing your thing, you can make this, you can make 70k. I'm not going to lie. If you get the packs and if you get the MT and you stack that for across the 60 hours, you can make this back in a weekend. No lie in the world. You can absolutely do it. Um, however, look, at the end of the day, this this 70,000 MT, it sounds like a lot straight off the bat, but it, it is honestly not a lot of MT for this sort of cards. You can work this up. You don't have to get them straight away. If you want to get the symbol R straight away, get the most expensive out of the way. That, it, he represents nearly, uh, pretty much a quarter, more than a quarter of the entire lineup himself. So, I, the only reason I put him there is just because of how dominant he is. Um, I could have I could have maybe done a, another power forward, something, switched it up a little bit, but at the end of the day, this is how I would run this lineup for under 70k. It comes out to about 69.6 thousand MT. If you add it all up, that is including the two free cards in Cambridge and James Wiseman, guys. But thank you so much for watching this video. Um, a lot of people have been coming in the streams in the Discord um, asking me about whether or not what cards they should pick up, what free ones they should get. I've seen people running Isaiah Thomas, the Invincible. Don't run Isaiah Thomas, please, or Muggsy Bogues, unless you're trying to have fun. But if you're playing Unlimited, make sure you upgrade to these two over that IT and over that Muggsy bow because those two cards will not get a shot off at all. They will not get a shot off, especially if you hit with someone playing zone or someone with a Ben Simmons. They're not going to get the shot off at all. That's where you would turn to these 6-6 six, six sort of cards and be able to courage slide, be able to get around screens and be able to get those shot off a lot better than a 5 foot 9 Isaiah Thomas. But if you run him, look, that's your that's your choice at the end of the day. Um, guys, once again, I've got a new thing here. I don't know if it's, it's going to be around the bottom of the screen, but I've got this, uh, thank you all these recent subscribers. I've got this, this panel that I've, I've, I've created down here with all the most recent subscribers so if you see your name there thank you very much and if you'd like to be in the next video's most recent subscribers make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are on the road to 25,000 subs here on the channel and i appreciate you guys so much um but once again thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up and any recommendations you have for your own lineup or if you would like to recommend to uh to me some changes to this lineup um then please leave them down below but at the end of the day guys i appreciate you watching this video have a fantastic night and i'll see you in the next one peace